Hello, everybody. I'm the one and only Mr. LP, Stephen Sykes of Enliven Global Media. I want to offer some words um, to think about as we go forward into this upcoming week. There's this wonderful movie called Black Panther that's coming out in our theaters being released on uh, February 16th and some other theaters a little bit ahead of time. And it's a wonderful opportunity to showcase us um, people in a light, positive light. We're not running with our pants hanging down. We're not gangbanging. We're not cursing. We're not acting like fools. We're educated people showing colors of all different wonderful glory and things. But unfortunately, you have some people who are, I'm just got to be honest, being idiots at the moment and just being stupid. Uh, I know those are harsh words and some say may not be the best words to use, but we have to tell the truth. Really stupid. There is so much self-hate uh, that some people have with themselves that they just don't get it. Some people want to call themselves woke, but they're really not woke. Some people want to call themselves enlightened, but they're really not enlightened. You, There are several videos in this concept out there um, where they are saying that this movie is not a black film because it's done by Marvel Studios. And this movie is also not about black empowerment. And it has some coded, uh, coded message and all these other foolishness things going on. Stop it. Okay? You know good and well if Marvel had called you to be in a movie, you would be in a movie yourselves. This movie is all about black empowerment. Just because somebody uh, black is not necessarily doing it, that does not mean it's anything less. You have to watch out how you throw out the word um, authentic. Let me give you an example. Uh, I am not Chinese American, but that does not mean I can't understand and empathize. I can only relate to some things in terms of the level of discrimination that I face discrimination just as much as they may have, an individual may have, but that does not mean I face it in the same way because I'm not Chinese American. That does not mean I'm not inauthentic. Uh, if I pr tell you I'm praying for you, are my words in not inauthentic? Are my feelings and my desire is not hoping for things to be better for you because I'm not a pastor? So just because Marvel Studios is not owned by a black company, how is this not an authentic film? How is this is not empowerment? That's just the stupidest things in the world. Not everybody black is your enemy. I'm sorry, it's your friend, and not everybody white is your enemy. NAACP was not founded by a bunch of black individuals. Uh, that doesn't mean there's anything less support for people of color. You have to think about how you throw out these words and words that use in power. So people really need to stop. Some of you want to troll around saying that you are this empowered, this enlightened man, or what have you. Some of you want to you misappropriate your Muslim uh, background or your other cultural backgrounds and give yourself an authentic uh, African name or a Muslim sounding name to say that you're empowered and you're enlightened, but you're really not. You're not woke or anything else. You just want to use this to sound like you're knowledgeable and gain fans and followers but you want to do that in the vein of tearing down other people who are doing something positive and doing it positive in a the right correct way we're not slinging drugs and doing uh crazy rap videos and cursing and then give the money back and say hey it's okay because we're giving the money back to the same community no this is not a nino brown syndrome we really need to stop and think about what we're doing in addition, I encourage that uh, Time Magazine has released a cover of Chadwick Boseman on air. Now, Chadwick Boseman is the star of the movie, and he's the Black Panther in the movies. Very rarely we've had uh, several characters, uh, superheroes, on the cover of Time Magazine. This is the first one for the Marvel Cinematic Universe. In addition, you know the cultural history... Uh, with time and life and those type of things. They've been very good for the most part uh, capturing those moments of time when it changes the course of history, and especially for people of color. Uh, you see the Muhammad Ali cover. you see seen Michael Jackson's. You've seen Kings. They've had Batman, Superman, Spider-Man, Wonder Woman, all these other different people on the cover. So why not the Black Panther movie? But then I suggested that we should go out and buy five copies. Similar to when, when Prince died, we go out and buy all these copies. When Michael Jackson died, we went out and buy all these copies. When uh, Whitney died, we went out and buy all these copies. When uh, they had the death of Superman some years ago, they went out and brought all these copies. When they did the uh, Batman was missing, they went all these 
copies. When Star Wars, when they came out with their second set of prequels, uh, they went out and bought all these copies. But for some reason, it was a problem when it came to the Black Panther, when I'm suggesting, and then we have people in our own black community saying otherwise. How foolish do you sound? When we needed this opportunity to showcase not just our current age groups and above, but especially our youth, that we take pride and we want to showcase uh, positive things. But you want to go ahead and spend a ton of money on the foolishness, and it's okay. But it's not okay on this. So who's the one that really has mental slavery? We don't need Trump, the KKK, skinheads, and all these other ne negative and racist people out there. When you're, There's people like you who are doing it for yourselves. So doing it to yourselves and also your community, excuse me. We really have to move forward. Unfortunately, the magazine is not out yet uh, time, but I went out and brought the CNET one here. Um, and this was the only one they had left, but I would, literally went around. So I'm hoping by Monday or Tuesday they have the, uh, the time one. But I just wanted to show that I'm out there actually trying to do something um, and push it out there. And if you look around, there are several people... Um, you know, when the movie now that got all this attention, now there's all these celebrities and people want to host private screening parties and go out there and say, hey, we're going to buy tickets for the whole school. You see it for the Boys and Girls Club in New York, the Clark School down in uh, the Atlanta, Georgia area and several other places. It's OK. And they got videos of kids dancing and the kids happy and they got all this money to take them. But now because someone like myself and many others who are not necessarily as popular trying to do things on a ground level, you rather tear me down. Why? You're mad because either you hate yourself, you're mad that you didn't get involved and thought about it, you don't like the fact that you see an intelligent black man out there doing something, or just the crab in the barrel and the hate mentality that you have, and you're just perpetuating the negativity. What? Which is it? I'd rather you stand up and admit that you have that problem instead of sitting there and trying to tear me down. There are also several, many of you in a Greek organization, I know you're not going to like this, but many of you also tore down others and myself who are out there trying to do something just to move ahead your agenda. Now, I have no problem with everybody else doing the same things and getting out there, but you don't have to tear down another person just to only lift yourself up. Where's that going to be? You know, is there a purpose in that other than just make money and so you can look like you're good? There are so many of you that could have gotten involved, not just here locally, but other places. But if you're not part of this certain clique, especially here in the Richmond RVA area, and what happens? Nothing. Many of the school systems had the opportunity. Yes, I'm calling you out. Richmond, Herico, Chesterfield, Hanover, Goodland, Dinwiddie. Went to you. You didn't want to do anything. And WACP, Richmond, Herico, the state, where were you? The Boys and Club Girls Club? The YMCA, Diversity Center, LGBT community, they don't want to do anything. Okay, so you'd rather sit there and tear me down in several other places around the country. But now that the movie is hyped, now you want to be this black pride. Okay. In addition, uh, there were people who, including myself, who were asking to wear something of African clothing or... Uh, something black, or wear your favorite superhero outfit. That would seem to be a problem. But then now all of you are screaming for joy when you see the premiere in London, uh, L.A., New York, where you see the stars dressing up in all this wonderful African regalia. But it's okay for only celebrities, but not okay for the local everyday person. So you have to really ask yourself, what are you really doing? What type of really image are you out there doing? So... I'm asking you to go out there and support this movie. And if you can't, watch it twice. Or if you can't, watch it twice that first weekend, see it the next weekend. Get your children involved. Take everybody else out there and see the movie. We really need opportunities, uh, more and more opportunities to showcase superheroes, not just black superheroes, but other ones. We have Moonstar, uh, Sunfire, uh, Creed, and just a whole bunch of other different things out there. And we really need to do a, a great job of getting more out there and especially also women superheroes as well and not necessarily someone who were the popular um, white superhero and just put a black character into it we really need to take their origin characters as well and get them out there so please get involved stay positive stop that foolishness stop the dumbness and get out there and get involved again i'm mr lp steven sykes have a great day everybody bye bye